We are Batchat Brass. We are an eight-piece brass band. Uh, trumpets, trombones, saxophone, sousaphone, drums. And we are in schools working with kids, teaching them plastic brass instruments. Over three sessions we've learned how to play a specific instrument and we've been learning a few songs of them, like Shotgun by George Ezra. It's the first session where the main idea is to just get them making a sound on the instruments, um, learn about the instruments, learn about brass in general. Some of them might have an idea what trumpets and trombones are. Then over the weeks we look at some different musical skills using the instruments, so we look at how to change notes, how to um, play a particular rhythm, and then we kind of put those ideas into some of the tunes that we play as a band, and then the band have come for the last day to do a performance with the kids, and we're going to do that in front of parents and the rest of the school. So. <laughs> We do some singing at the start. The first week it's always a bit of a laugh, a bit of fun, you know, the novelty of these instruments. But you start to see changes in some of the children who may start off finding it as a bit of a joke, but then they start to realise, oh, we're actually getting a nice sound here. We're starting to play as a band. We're starting to actually be involved in something together. <laughs> It's been really fun because like, we've never really learned about anything like that before and I think it's one of the, the things that in primary school that you hardly ever get to do and it's just a really good experience. It's a thing to enjoy because you're not in, always in a classroom environment and it, you don't have to be in a classroom to learn to do stuff because you learn different things every day but this is like a totally different thing. It's not just like you just sat there wait, writing something down, you're actually there doing it, not just taking notes from it. Yeah, it's not as like rigid as a classroom, it's not one answer, you, you, you're like, you've got a broader range of what you can do. <laughs> you see kind of music being dropped from curriculum and things like that, so less, there are less and less, you know, fewer and fewer opportunities for children to get involved in music. Um, to come, to be able to bring it into the school, bring the instruments and kind of just put them in their hands and give them that opportunity. They may not want to take it up later down the line, but they, they may want to, and then it, get, it gives them the opportunity to try, which I think is slowly being cut back in general. So projects like this are very important to kind of get that, bring it to them rather than expect them to find it. It's just the fact that giving kids the opportunity to try these things and then if they like them, go ahead and do them. And because now we've got the instruments for the school, everybody should get an opportunity and we should get it again to do it. So yeah. I'm sure if you asked the children seven weeks ago whether they would ever have played a musical instrument, I think the answer would have been no. I think um, if they'd have been asked, you know, um, would they ever be able to play a musical instrument, if, you know, within seven weeks if they'd been taught, they would have said no. Um, the self-belief and the, the self-esteem that the children have developed or improved on, um, ha we've noticed it each week. I think a lot of the time at schools you, you feel like, especially with music, you think you've got to get the bit of paper or the grade or, or whatever, whereas this just bypasses all that and it's just like, just make a sound, join our band, we'll do a performance. It's music for fun. Music which for fun, yeah. Which supposed to be. Yeah. Which is, exactly, which a lot of the time I think music education can go a little bit too formal, so we try and bring the informal. <laughs> we, we don't know how to do formal. <laughs>